Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. I have some pretty sad news for all of you. This is the far, but sorry, by far the worst possible scenario I have done for you guys. Usually first, second, worst case, third. This time around, absolutely nothing I can do to beat this. Uh, and guys, here I am, fourth. There will be a change to how tournaments work. I will figure it out, I will find a way, and I'm gonna let you all know how to beat these bloody tournaments because this is right here unacceptable and I do not like it, I'm not happy about it. This is just shambles, guys. Absolute shambles. So, what I can do, I am going to figure out a better way of joining tournaments and a better way of winning. Because those two guys, guys, honestly, that was the third, fourth, third hour before I joined. And even then, these guys were able to join and then beat me. So it, it just made absolutely no sense, guys. Absolutely no sense whatsoever. So we're going to leave it at that. I will go figure it out, understand it, and then come back to you guys on how we can beat this. So until then let's try and focus on something a little bit different so my clan has just started a new raid so what i'm gonna do is gonna help contribute a little bit as you can tell it's about what seven to eight billion of damage it is just ridiculous so if you think about it if one billion out of that there's one million damage here may seem a lot it is only one percent off not even one percent is it 1 million out of this, 100, so yeah, 1%, sorry, yeah, 1% of the actual damage to 1 billion. So out of that 7, I'm literally making about 0.7%, which is just absolutely, absolutely insane how much damage this is going to take for us to get there. However, we have to get there and we have to keep pushing. So, just to give you a bit of insight onto the different types of stuff that I do have and what I do use, because I think that a lot of people don't really get a lot of chance to see what raid looks like. And as you can tell, that grayish thing, I can't remember the name of it, it's doing about a passive 119,000 damage. So this is actually quite strong. We're literally going up by a million, million, a million, and then a couple of millions here, a couple of millions there. So this is actually very, very strong, very powerful, and it does do a solid, at least I would say maybe about 38 to 40 million damage here, I would presume, in that 30 seconds. And let's see where it gets up to. Oh, I don't know why it slowed down there. There you go. It slowed down there. I think my, I don't know what happened. Just must have slipped the finger. All right. Um, this is another solid one. You got 30, 83 million at the top left, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna pour all of it into this. Uh, 83 mil, so this should do another 40 mil, so this gets this down to about 40 million. Uh, that way we're gonna have a nice soft spot right there for us to be able to do some damage. I think I will have to do a bit of adjustment here. So I will need to attack the chest, uh, which is the body. I will need to use the void damage because that is where the strength is at. Okay, let me just quickly have a look. There you go. Now 45 mil, which is very, very solid. That 3.3 needs to go. Okay. Let me see where and how. Ooh, this looks good. This looks good. Yep. This is going to be that. I'm going to find an affliction that will work for me. Let's see. 36, 37. I will use this one. All right. Let's give this a go. This should be able to do a significant amount of damage towards the chest that is really focused to it. There you go, 400. Oh, that is good. I like that. One mil, two mil, three mil, four mil. There you go. That is what we are talking about. That is going to increase a lot more damage right here. And that is actually pretty solid. So there you go, guys. When you, when you mix an affliction, a damage, and a support, that is usually a simple good bet that you're going to be able to do some damage. And look at that. A new one with 51 million. 
So there you guys go. I'll show you a little bit of how raids are done for me. And then let's do mine as well. So at least it gets a bit of a uh, touch. Let's just try this, you know. I ain't got nothing to lose. This is going to be easy. easy. 70 mil, you divide it by 3. It's going to be about 25. Wait, 25 mil? Yeah, 20, 23, 22 mil. And we should be able to get this done. So this is not going to be a difficult one to finish off. And so basically the reason why I want to try this out, it kind of gives me a bit of insight into how this will work, whether if it will work well in a normal one, whether it will work well or not with the others. Um, I don't know. So hence is why I tried it out. Let's see how much damage you can do. That is pretty solid, I'd say. That's 40.4 mil. Okay, and since we have that, with the little B thing that we have, something swamp, I can't remember the actual name. That is actually significantly stronger than people realize. The reason is, there is no armor in this Titan. With that, it, any damage you do is going to add towards the total damage that is needed to be done on this Titan. So with that being an area damage where it gets everything else, it is very significant. As you can tell, I haven't touched any of the arms and yet, there you go. Able to finish off with two single rates right there. And there you go, 40, 30, 70, told you it was gonna be easy. This by far it is it's really difficult. I'm not gonna be able to beat that. Uh, I did try, but I am not going to get it today. Oh, forgot to turn the ads on today. There you go. And so guys, a little bit of a shambles, but it is what it is. We all have to learn from this. Like I said ages ago, whenever there's something changing in the game, you have to work your way around it. As angry as you get, use that fuel and do it the best you can out of it. Instead of whinging and whining about it, find a way around it. And that is what we are going to do. So we are going to find our way around this rubbish and I am going to complain while I'm doing it. And then I will get it done, smack it all out and get it to the next level. So guys, stay tuned. I will give you a bit of an information, whether it's just simply joining tournaments a bit later or a bit earlier or whatever that is and just face the truth and just smack any whales that you can puncture them be a japanese fishing boat and just get rid of these whales whatever we have to do we will get it done and we will smack it all out and get it gg all right guys i'm gonna watch this ad so i'm gonna leave you all to it i'm not gonna bore you with this and i'll catch you at the at tomorrow night and I will be producing a video for that one and then we'll produce another one after that. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you for joining me in this journey. Now you finally see how I face some issues and how I am going to do my best to figure out a new way around this issue and problem. Until then guys, drop a like, drop a subscribe and I'll see you at the next video at AT. Bye bye.